Hello and welcome to a new video. This one's much more laid back than the past couple we've done. Just going to talk about some of the weather apps that we use to track storms, that sort of thing. So you too can track storms like a pro, uh, whatever that means. And anyways, uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to talk about are radar apps. Like, how can you track storms with radar? There are three apps I'm going to recommend uh, from pro level to, all the way down to something that's, you know, pretty novice level, but still really good. Now, the first app we're going to take a look at is RadarScope. RadarScope is a classic. This is an app that storm chasers, weather folks have used for many years. It's a premium app. You do have to pay for it, but... You get what you pay for. This is a really nice, simple app. Here, we're, we'll zoom into this hurricane on the west coast of Florida. And you can just see, it's very clean. You do have some roads on it. And it's just, it is what it is. It is a, an app that shows off radar. And it's just super simple to switch. It's very responsive. Uh, that's one of my favorite pieces about Radar Scope is it's fast and responsive. So you never are dealing with any type of lagginess, a delay. There's all kinds of options uh, for radar types uh, in terms of products and such. Uh, so, th you know, this is a really good app. Uh, another thing that I really enjoy is the dual pane view. Um, so you can have velocity on one side. You can have reflectivity on the other if I could ever get it right. So radar scope, highly recommended. But if you're not into radar scope or if you want a little bit more out of your radar app, there is another option. This option is Radar Omega. So let's just, you know, move down here to Florida uh, and let's click on the radar here at Tampa. So similar view to what you had last time. I've got this set up to be a lot busier. You've got, you've got so much going on here. You have spotter network icons. Sorry, Dennis, for calling you out there. And you also have, uh, you know, SPC outlooks, all this stuff, and then you have just all these other warnings and such. So, but so you can make this a lot more complicated. Have temperature up, but you can. There's so much you can customize here. Say you don't want anything on here, for instance, you can turn that off. You can turn spotter network off, and suddenly you've got a much simpler radar screen just with those two things taken off. And then you can customize. The thing I like about this, it's so customizable. Radar Omega has everything you could ever imagine. You could put your outlooks on here, mesoscale discussions of your weather watches. Um, let's just, I mean, you can see you got uh, that. You have so much going on here. I'm such a huge fan. You have uh, so many display options, radar settings. Coolest thing about this is that you have custom color tables you can upload. So there's so much that you can make happen with Radar Omega. And it's a little cheaper than Radar Scope, if I remember right. There is a subscription option as well uh, with Radar Omega that gives you more uh, things you can actually do. But yeah, Radar Omega, the other, it's just really, really solid. And so another thing with Radar Omega that I really like, let me go, let's get out of Florida and let's just go over here to Oklahoma. And you can see there's so many roads. You, the road map here is just epic. This is just really good for storm chasing. Uh, it's going to be hard for me not to use this. Look at this. You can go all the way down and get grids, which is just, just phenomenal. So Radar Omega is also a great option. They are building and adding and streamlining to this all the time. So Radar Scope or Radar Omega, you can't go wrong with either one. So there's a couple of options to track storms in real time. Another honorable mention radar program, especially if you're not, if you don't need raw Nexrad data, is my radar. It is just a very simple radar client. Gives you all kinds of options as well. And right here I have the hurricane tracking layer enabled, which allows you to track. I mean, here's Etta, and look, that's just yeah, that that hurricane had a crazy track. So same type of view. If you're just looking for something to know if it's going to rain on your hike or something like that, my radar is a great option. And I love, love, love the wide view on my radar to see everything. There's so many options here. Uh, it's free. Get it. My radar. Great app. So shameless plug time, tornadotitans.com. 
All of our videos are on here, photos are on here, our newsletter, it's all here. Take a look at it. So on the front end of a storm setup, uh, you know, there's a whole other side of this and it's called weather models. There's two different model sites I wanna give shout outs to. The first one is weather.cod.edu. This is, this is the College of DuPage Next Generation Weather Lab site. You can go on here, you can, uh, there's just all kinds of options, but you go to numerical models and in the numerical models page, you have all your weather models. For instance, HRRR, we'll just keep down here in the Southeast and on mobile, for sure, this just drag slider is just really, really, really good. Oh my goodness. I love it. So I love this website, especially for mobile devices. It is so much better than the other one I'm going to show you for mobile devices, but still, you can't go wrong with this. You have precipitation type, some reflectivity, lots of options here. But the thing that I'm not a fan of with COD is they do have a little bit more limited uh, product selection, especially on the HRRR. For instance, they don't have soundings uh, for the HRRR, but there's a lot here to like. If you just need a quick down and dirty, look at weather models, HRRR on here is great. Other models are great. So College DuPage, definitely check it out. Now, another feature on the College DuPage site that I really, so another feature on the College of DuPage site that I really like is the surface maps area. I just really like this because it's super simple. Let's just zoom into Oklahoma. It just gives you a nice view of the surface map. Uh, I use surface maps like nobody's, you know, I just put them out of style. I don't know. I'm trying to be cool. It's not working. Uh, but just, I love surface maps uh, and, you know, College DuPage. It's really nice. So check it out. So the other model site that I want to point out is Pivotal Weather. Uh, this is a really, really great site, especially on desktop. The only complaint I have about Pivotal Weather is that it's a little clicky. You have to uh, make several clicks, uh, you know, touches on your touch screen to really get what you really want. And I mean, by, but by the time you get there, you also have a nice drag slider. And the graphics, I think, are very pretty. And you do have a lot more, uh, a lot more options in terms of, uh, in terms of products to take a look at. So there's just so much uh, data available here. And there's, uh, you know, this is what we use to forecast severe weather. So for another model site, Pivotal Weather is a great option. PivotalWeather.com. Check it out.